Okay, before we move on to absolute inequalities, I'm just going to show you um, how to write, um, or what you can see right in front of me, okay, in front of you, uh, greater thans, less thans, as kind of interval notation and how to graph them. So, x greater than 3 is this one right here, okay? So, imagine a normal line, okay? Here's 3. That's a horrendous 3. Uh, so, we are going that way, all right? Okay. Now, so that means we're going from 3 to infinity, all right? Okay, that way is going on to infinity, all right? That way, or if I'm looking, I, I, I can never know when I'm looking at the camera. Um, so, now, because it doesn't have the equal sign, this one does, all right? We use a parenthesis, okay? So, basically, that's me sketching 3 to infinity. X's are greater than 3, okay? Now, to write it as interval notation, what we call interval notation, we do that, all right? There we go. That there, that I'm underlining, double underlining, is interval notation. 3 to infinity, x is greater than 3, okay? Now, if we want x is greater than or equal to 3, again, the same thing. Here's the number line. Here's the 3. This time, we're going to use a square bracket, all right? And again, arrows pointing that way it's still 3 to infinity, okay? But this time we use the bracket, and it's just notation, okay? 3, infinity, again, this is the interval notation. You can never include infinity, that's why it's always a parenthesis. But just look at the two differences. Notice, so uh, one without the equal sign, one with the equal sign. One parenthesis, one without parenthesis, sorry, one bracket. Now, how about um, these down here? Okay, x less than 3. Well, again, here's the number line. Here's the 3. But this time, we are going that way, aren't we? Okay? Okay, we're going that way. Now, again, it doesn't have the equal sign, so I'm going to put a parenthesis. But notice, okay, where's it coming from this time? The previous ones, when it's greater than, they're going to infinity. This one's coming from negative infinity. We always go from left to right, okay? So, negative infinity. It's like an 8 on the side, all right? Uh, so, to write that as interval notation, again, parenthesis, okay, I'm doing this one, okay, no equal sign. I'm going from negative infinity, I'm going far as 3, okay? So, from negative infinity to 3, uh, parentheses. And finally, what do you think this one's going to be? Well, again, we'll just have the bracket instead. So, this is going to less than 3 or equal to negative infinity, and it's going as far as 3, okay, that's got the bracket. And I've had to sketch it, here we go, we're going that way, there's the 3, and I would just kind of do a bracket like that, okay? So that's you doing um, interval notation. And now there's one more thing which I kind of wanted to show you. Um, let me just bring up, uh, I'm going to erase this, okay, so if you need to, just go back and look at this. So I'm going to erase all this, um, right, here we go. And magic, you can't see how I'm doing this, or can you? I don't know. Right. Now, the other one, uh, a bit more complicated, is this. Now, supposing we're not going to infinity or coming from negative infinity, supposing we've got a number line. There's zero, okay? Supposing I'm going from, let's say, negative two, and I'm going as far as positive three, okay? All right. Supposing I'm not including the negative two, but I am including the positive three, hence parentheses one side, bracket the other. So I'm just saying, right, I'm just, all I can use is numbers in between these two points, right? So from negative 2 to positive 3, not to infinity, it's just between these two. Well, look at the diagram. The interval notation is fairly easy to write. Look, parenthesis, negative 2, comma, going as far as 3, and that one's got the bracket, okay? Now, here's the thing. Here's the... Um, set notation, which some people get a bit confused about, okay? So remember, that's interval notation. Look at the graph. Fairly straightforward. Um, but here's interval notation. I'm going to write it and then explain to you what it means. Again, we're going from negative 2. Look at the diagram. We're going as far as 3, right? Because the negative 2 doesn't have the equal sign, the parenthesis, right? So I should have said that first. It's a parenthesis, so it doesn't have the equal sign, okay? Uh, the 3's got the bracket, so that means it will have the equal sign. So, so far, so good. And then we just put an x in the middle, right? Now that is the set notation for negative two to positive three. Um, if I'm going to be fancy, again, remember that's the interval notation. Now let's erase that because I need a bit more space. Uh, I can 
write it somewhere else. So this is how we actually do. Uh, get the pen back. Okay, in curly parentheses, x's such that x is lying between negative two and positive three. Okay, so really, I mean, the important thing is this. All right, that just means it's just the same as interval notation, kind of negative two to positive three. But this is how we write it in interval. Sorry, in set notation. Remember, I'll do it above one more time. Negative two with a parenthesis, hence no equal sign. Going as far as three, bracket, because it's got the equal sign. So that just means numbers between negative two and positive three. One's interval notation, one's set notation. I think if you go on, people tend to use the interval notation a bit more because you can see it's a bit easy to write anyway. Okay, there you go.